Hi, I'm Adrian Redden, Planet's Digital Content Specialist, and today I'm joined by Hewlett Packard Enterprises pre-sale technical consultants Priyank Sharma and Barith Benoit. This Q&A is intended to help performance testers maximize their use of Storm Runner Load, outlining core functionality, integration with HPE's tool suite, tips and tricks, customer success stories, and useful resources to help you get started. So thanks very much, Barath and Priyank, for joining me today. Can you tell us a bit about Storm Runner Load and how it works? Sure. Thanks, Adrian. So HPE's Storm Runner Load is a cloud-based solution hosted and supported in Hewlett Packard Enterprise data center facilities. It is available immediately and delivered by a, a SaaS licensing model. Now you can simply purchase a subscription with just a credit card and scale up on demand. All you need is a browser to get started. Now using HP Storm Runner Load, uh, performance engineers in agile or traditional environments can create and run a load test in just minutes. The solution actually supports a wide array of tools and technologies of which include VUGen scripts. Now, those who are actually familiar with VUGen, um, that's essentially what you would have used um, if you're using our solutions with LoadRunner or Performance Center. And in addition to that, it also incorporates scripting technology such as HPE's True Client, True API, and open source technologies such as JMeter and Gatling as well. You can spin up load generators via multiple cloud vendors such as the Amazon Web Services and Azure, and you can see the results of your test and gain real-time insights into performance issue instantaneously. Now, to get started, it's, it's essentially very simple. As it describes in the uh, top column here, um, you, know, you just create a HPE true client script, design your true client script, and then add it to a load test, and then just run, simply run the load test. Uh, with the self-driving test lab in, in Storm Load. There's no need to obviously configure load generators, as mentioned previously. And HP Storm Runner Load does all the work for you, essentially, in the cloud. Excellent. That's great. So what are the key benefits of using Storm Runner Load? The key features, um, so number one, on the infrastructure side, uh, you have now the ability to run your tests from simply using the browser. So there's very little... Uh, client-side installation, so that takes the pain out of uh, all the infrastructure setup. Uh, also, a lot of new agile cloud, web, and mobile projects, uh, these teams need the best of both worlds. So they need their open source tools as well as their enterprise software. So you now have the ability to run uh, test scripts from open source tools such as uh, JMeter or Gatling, or you can have your existing load runner scripts and uh, port them onto Storm Runner Cloud and run these um, scripts uh, from distributed load generators. Finally, the tool is extremely scalable and is cost effective. Uh, also, the open architecture allows you to integrate with some of the existing third party open source and proprietary tools. So that gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to expanding your uh, test suites. Great, thanks for that, Priyank. So, can you tell us some of the main features of Storm Runner Load for testers? Yeah, happy to do so. So, in, with regards to the main features, I thought I will try to my demo. It's it's worth noting that there are uh, key areas which Storm Runner Load concentrates on. Um, that being integration. So, HP Storm Runner Load has a rich selection of third-party tools to integrate with, as mentioned previously by Priyank. So, from a continuous integration server perspective, such as Jenkins, Hudson. Um, and incorporating also some of our other solutions, such as uh, SiteScope, for example, or Dynatrace and New Relic. Now, in terms of the features, and I will just draw to my demo instance here. So, once you actually log in, as you can see, it's via a web browser. I'll just create my test. I'll name my test. And once that's done, I can then move across to uploading the scripts. Now, in terms of the scripts, uh, you can actually upload HTTP, HTML uh, related scripts, or even go into a true client script. So for this test instance, to highlight some of the features, I've, I've selected both a web HTTP and a true client web script. Um, now, these, these two scripts were pre-recorded prior to the session, uh, but essentially I was using the VU Gen scripting um, engine to actually to undertake the recording. So once the script's actually uploaded, 
it's a matter of just configuring the number of virtual users uh, that I want to test the application against, uh, specifying a ramp up time and a teardown time, and also setting a pacing associated to this particular test. And I'll just do that for uh, the true client script as well. Now, some of the interesting in, in intuitive functionalities incorporated into Storm Runner Load is the snapshot as well uh, for true client. Now this gives you or the users the ability or the tester or performance tester to actually navigate through the application uh, that was pre-recorded to actually then verify what the transactions that you're actually going to performance test against. Um, so that's, that's and again, it's very easy to use um, and, and quite intuitive as well. So once that is done, I can then move on to, um, you know, configuring my runtime settings as well, um, which is, again, very similar to those who have used Loadrunner Performance Center. They'll be familiar with this. I'll save that. And then I can configure my monitors. Um, as I mentioned uh, previously, we'll be using SiteScope in this instance, but there are options to incorporate New Relic or Dynatrace as well as integration engines. So specify the server IP here. I'll save that. And that's essentially it. Uh, once that's done, uh, other things that I can actually do is distribute the load amongst the uh, cloud hosted load generators that we actually have um, and you can actually edit the locations uh, as and when you wish um, adding uh, certain locations that we have the cloud generators in and once that's been specified you move on to uh, simply running the test. So as you can see Adrian that's um, a quite an extensive list of features that Storm Runner Load has um, at this present point in time. Excellent. That's a really comprehensive demonstration there, Barrett. Um, so we've seen some of the key features. Can you tell us about the test results, analytics, and reporting handling in Storm Run Alert? Sure, Adrian. I, it's a great question because I think a lot of um, our users who have uh, used Load Runner or Performance Center in the past, they're extremely curious to know about um, the reporting capabilities in a cloud-based solution such as Storm Runner Load. So. If you look at the screen right now, you see a, a you see a dashboard. Now, this dashboard is populated by adding widgets. Uh, you see running virtual users, hits per seconds, um, throughput errors, and so on and so forth. You have the ability to add um, uh, a lot of different uh, widgets uh, from the widget gallery to to calculate uh, client side measurements such as hits per second. Uh, or throughput or transaction uh, measurements such as transaction response time, different monitors for, for monitoring the CPU utilization, used memories, um, so on and so forth. So uh, it's pretty extensive um, and uh, you have the ability to constantly uh, mix and match uh, widgets and uh, overlay graphs uh, for data crunching. Once you have uh, the reports uh, available to you, you can uh, then go ahead and, and share these reports uh, between your teams and across your teams. You have the ability to export reports uh, in a PDF Word uh, format or also if you want to add additional uh, data crunching, you also have a CSV format available to you for, for performing uh, additional computations on your, on your report data. Another uh, interesting bit is the client side uh, breakdown report which is the NV analytics. Uh, this is the network virtualization piece that allows you to improve the performance of your application by identifying potentially problematic issues in your transactions and it provides recommendations for optimizing network traffic. Uh, it's, it's really important uh, in the case of uh, a lot of uh, mobile based uh, uh, applications because you get uh, a real time uh, report of uh, user experience within your test lab so even before you go live you have all the data that you need to to make all the corrections and adjustments uh, within your application so that's a really powerful feature and it's it has been recently introduced and we feel that it has been received really well 
Fantastic. Thanks, Priyank. Look, some really comprehensive exporting and reporting options there, so that's really great. Can you tell us when testers should consider using Storm Runner Load alongside other HPE testing tools? Yeah, uh, another great question there, and, and this is a question that uh, arises quite often um, with, with what we have in terms of customer bases as well. So HPE Storm Runner Load is part of the suite of market-leading HPE performance testing solutions. It extends the capabilities of the widely used HP load runner, as well as performance center products. Now with Storm Runner Load, naturally it is a cloud-only solution focused on mobile and web testing in agile development environments. Now to better leverage your existing investments, your development and testing can reuse uh, the test scripts uh, among the different solutions in HPE's performance testing suites. As I mentioned, using the VUGen scripting technology, you can port your scripts at class into Storm Runner Load. Now, Load Runner is typically used for site-specific project-based tests, and in the case of Performance Center, it's more scaled for enterprise uh, projects, and typically the user base is, is larger. Um, coming back again, Storm Runner Load is simple, scalable, and is more conducive uh, for uh, you know quick tests, which can be scaled up uh, as and when required, uh, given the infrastructure is actually uh, hosted uh, within our um, premises. Excellent. Thanks very much for that, Baraf. So we've learned about basic features. We've learned about analytics. We've learned about reporting and integration with HPE's tool suite. Can you tell us some customer success stories using Storm Run Alert? Um, sure, um, and I think we've got uh, three for you today. Number one is uh, a large science uh, company that is one of the big three educational publishers, and they provide uh, customized educational content for uh, uh, pre-K through postgraduate education. Now, their um, criteria for selection was, uh, was really straightforward. They really wanted a, a tool uh, that had a really uh, low price point when it comes to the entry price point and a really low ramp up time. Now this automatically meant that they needed a cloud-based solution and uh, after evaluation they found that Storm Runner Load really fit in and uh, uh, they really expanded the Storm Runner Load uh, from their line of business to finally their center of excellence. So they really saw the value in what uh, Storm Runner Load uh, actually brought in and they really uh, scaled it up. Um, a second um, uh, success story is from an athletics web company that uh, was using, so they were using a performance center for their center of excellence, but they really had no influence on, on the line of business. Um, and they were really worried about uh, their existing uh, incumbent uh, service costs. And uh, when they looked at Storm Runner, Storm Runner ticked all the boxes from a, from a usability and integration point of view. And uh, they were really happy about the investment uh, that was made. Uh, and finally, a multinational uh, financial service corporation. Now, this is an interesting one because they conducted uh, an internal um, analysis and they realized that uh, the, the cost of hardware uh, infrastructure was easily costing them over three million. And um, so when they started looking at Storm and a load, and even with the operational cost uh, that goes with uh, some of these cloud-based tools, they, they quickly realized that they got 75% uh, cost savings, and, and as you would imagine, the time to market was also immediately reduced. So um, there was no time uh, wasted on procuring, purchasing, and setting up infrastructure, and, and they uh, also um, uh, got benefits in terms of cost savings as well. So these three success stories are fairly recent. And, and I think they make a, a pretty compelling case because these are three different uh, verticals and really um, you know, have three different use cases that adopted Storm Runner Load. Excellent. Thanks for that, Priyank. Um, another question for Barath this time is, do you have some useful tips and tricks for Storm Runner Load testers? Most definitely, Adrian. Um, so progressing on from the demonstration that I gave earlier on, um, I just wanted to point out a few easy to use uh, tips that will be quite handy when you're actually executing your Storm Runner Load test. 
uh, one of which is the scripting side of things and the use of labels. Now, using the labels to organize scripts in a repository uh, makes it easy to then nest them into uh, subcategories, if you like. So in an instance here, let me just bring up a script that I uh, uploaded. So what I can do is I can then label the script uh, as, in, as in when I require based on you know, either the, the, the technology set that I've actually used, be it HTTP, HTML, or TrueClient as well. So that's one neat feature. And then it naturally then um, you know, ports the script across to the nested categories as you can see there. The other one which I wanted to talk about and I briefly touched on it was the runtime settings as well. Now, again, very familiar those who are with Load Runner or Performance Center, uh, the runtime setting is quite critical so you can have the ability uh, to edit or, or view additional runtime settings including the browser cache, HTTP timeout and additional attributes which are quite useful when you're actually uh, about to commence your test. Um, and perhaps another, um, you know, uh, tips that I can actually provide is the percentile transaction response time. Now, typically when you actually run a baseline test uh, with the transaction response times that you actually get, uh, they will come with a associated um, time in seconds. What Storm Runner Load has is the capability to actually record uh, a suggested value based on your previous runs. So what you can do is post a baseline run and you want to actually con now conduct your actual run, you can actually use the suggested value uh, ported across uh, to the transaction that you're going to actually monitor and then progress with the testing on that basis. Now if naturally if it then breaches uh, that transaction response time, then you will obviously get a SLA warning. Um, so that's just a quick um, extensibility or tips that Storm Runner Load has. Naturally, there are uh, a, a lot more um, you know, simple and easy to use um, tips or, or tricks using Storm Runner Load, uh, but as, as you actually get into uh, utilizing it, you'll actually discover a lot more of its capabilities. Awesome. Thanks very much for that, Barrett. And now the last question for both of you is where can we learn more about Storm Runner Load? Adrian, this is a great time to be learning about Storm Runner Load. We have an online help center that has been completely redesigned and uh, it allows you completely free access to a lot of Storm Runner videos, how-to guides and, and tutorials. Uh, not only that, we have a dedicated YouTube channel and uh, uh, a lot of uh, practitioner forums uh, on on our own community site as well as a LinkedIn group that gives you a lot of new information about Storm Runner Load. So if you are thinking about um, uh, learning more about Storm Runner, um, there's no shortage of uh, learning material. Excellent. Thank you very much Bharath and Priyank. Um, really informative session today and as mentioned in the presentation, look, there's lots of resources out there to learn more about Storm Runner Load. Um, hopefully this presentation gave you a good overview of features, benefits, um, lots of reporting options available, um, analytics, and just generally ways to maximize your use of Storm Runner Load. And um, you can check out the latest version of Storm Runner Load, which has support for private cloud and cross-team project management features as well. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Andrew.